Hello Leo, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be uh, all about the energies between you and the person that you're thinking about or connecting with. We're also going to look at where all of this is headed in the near future. Keep in mind that these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Leo watching and not every Leo reading will resonate for you. All right, Leo, let's jump right in. Spirit angels. Guys, what messages, what guidance do you have for Leo? Guidance, messages, please. For Leo regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time, Spirit. What do we need to know for the sign of Leo? Or Leo. Okay, overall energy is the Five of Wands and the Ten of Cups. Okay, complete opposite energies. <laughs> On your side, Leo, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the King of Swords. On your person's side, we have the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords. <clears throat> we'll put down here where all of this is headed in the near future. And the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups. So someone's like not very happy here with the Four of Cups. There's dissatisfaction, boredom, disinterest. Um, I feel like it could be because maybe there's like a back and forth in the energy between you perhaps here. Like maybe you have good days, but then there's also terrible days. Or maybe there is a lot of conflict, despite the fact that this is a happy connection overall. We'll see what this is about <clears throat> when we clarify, but let's get some energies out here. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Leo and this other person. What can you tell us, Spirit, about the energies between Leo and this other person? What do we need to know? No, for Leo or this other person. What do I need to know? Patiently waiting. So someone's waiting, and that could be you because you have the Seven of Pentacles here. Waiting, patience, faith. So someone's like patiently waiting for something to happen or for a message. Confirmation. We'll see. Tell me more. What are the energies between Leo and this other person? Time out. Okay, timing, patience. So another card about patience. So maybe that's the problem. There's a little bit of frustrating energy here because someone could be waiting for something and it just hasn't arrived. Maybe a lot of time has passed. What else do we need to know? This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck, just in case you're curious. All of my decks are linked in the description box. Okay, so we have Restoring Balance. So maybe this is about healing something, fixing something with restoring balance here. Harmony, stability. Maybe someone's like waiting around for something to be fixed or um, addressed. <clears throat> Let's get some clarity. Sorry. Get some clarity, please. For Leo. What do we need to know? about these energies. What do we need to know? I these energies for Leo. What's this Five of Wands about? Let's start there. Why is the Five of Wands here? The High Priestess, secrets, things that are unknown things going on behind the scenes. What's going on with the Five of Wands? Ten of Wands. So there's something I feel like hasn't been addressed. Like I'm getting something that's been kind of like ignored or over time there's not, you know, there's still secrets, still things that are hidden, still things that are unsaid. <clears throat> I think it's causing problems. I think you and this other person are having um, conflicts here. What's this Ten of Cups about? 
Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Eight of Swords. Why is the Ten of Cups here? For Leo. And Ten of Cups again. So someone could be feeling stuck in a situation, but I don't know. This is weird energy because the Ten of Cups is like a happy ending, a happy family. It's like you have emotional fulfillment, complete happiness. So this Eight of Swords could be that someone's too afraid or stuck to have this. Maybe this is the potential of something, but someone is too scared. And I say someone because both of your energies are here. So this could be you or your person to go after what truly makes them happy. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Tell me more about this Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords, wow. So there was probably an ending here due to conflict, due to secrets. And I think that after this ending, at least one of you is still waiting to restore the balance here. Maybe you're not happy with the way things ended. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups, please. Page of Swords. Communication, messages, information. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Seven of Wands, interesting. So I think since your person has the Four of Swords and the Six of Swords, they probably left this connection or since your departure or their departure there has been little action or communication on their part i think you're waiting for this communication from your person with the seven of pentacles and this king of swords it's like you need to hear something from them but i feel like there's a block with the seven of wands <clears throat> it's like you've been waiting for this page of swords but something's blocking it is what i'm seeing here bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles yeah it's like this is what you've what has caused this waiting energy, this patient energy. So let's look at your, um, you and this person. Leo, I have you on the left and your person on the right, but the energies can be vice versa. So feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. Spirit, tell me more about the energies between Leo and this other person. Tell me more about the energies, please between Leo and this other person. Tell me about Leo's energy. What do we need to know about Leo in this connection? What do we need to know about Leo? Bad health, okay? So you could be um, not having the best time right now, basically. Uh, bad health could be feeling stressed, anxious, having health issues. Um, for me, this card is like someone that is not coping well, not dealing well with a situation. Tell me about the person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know? Let me move these out. What do we need to know about this individual that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know, Spirit? Message of concern. So message of concern is like you get a message and it's not what you expect or it's a message that concerns you, worries you. For some of you, this person is blocked or you're blocked. And so you send a message and you don't get a response and that's concerning because you start thinking, well, did this person block me? What's going on? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know, Spirit? For Leo? What else do we need to know? For Leo, what else do we need to know, Spirit? Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So Leo, you're still thinking about this person. 
wondering what they're doing, what they're thinking or feeling about you. I couldn't let you get close to me. I, I still feel like one of you is like not able to communicate. Tell me about this other person. What do we need to know about this person that Leo is dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about this other person? I couldn't let you get close to me. Yeah, I mean, there's like a block here. Bottom of the deck. I wonder if you are happy without me. So I think you're both thinking about each other. Um, wondering what the other is doing. Things like that. So let's see. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? I think it's this message. You're waiting for a message. You're waiting for clarity. And I feel like you've been waiting for this. Tell me if that's true in the comments. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. I think you're wondering if things are going to be worked out, if this could be fixed. Some of you, there could be a third party and you're wondering if that your person is still with them. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Yeah, I think that there's interferences here. And the interference could be another person or it could be the baggage, the history between you and them. Like maybe things ended too badly and you're wondering if it can be if the balance can be restored after all that. Or maybe there's too many people involved here. And so you're wondering if your connection could have success in the future. Tell me about this King of Swords here. Um, energy here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Wow, Three of Swords. I think that maybe some words were said here. I also get the sense, Leo, that if this person were to contact you, you wonder if you're just going to be hurt all over again. Maybe there were, I, I still get the sense that some of you, there were painful words exchanged and one of you is not able to contact the other. But I think also for another group of you, if this person were to contact you, you don't even know if you're going to like what you hear. You know, maybe some, some of you just want this to find out if this person is still hurt by what happened. Were they affected? Are they heartbroken? Because I feel like maybe you are. Tell me about the King of Swords. So it's almost like, do, the, do you feel the same way as I do? Tell me about this King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. This is all about work, effort, taking time and energy to do something with uh, Eight of Pentacles. You know, I find it very interesting that you haven't had many major arcanas here um, in this reading. Even in the clarifiers, there's only one so far. And I think it's because there's still a lot of day-to-day -day things going on here. There's not, a, not, not any like major shifts in energy. Probably because things are too quiet. And I think it's because of your person. I feel like you want to know if your person is working on something or wants to work things out with you, but you're scared of what they're going to say. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Swords here? Three of Cups. Yeah, I think that for... Um, for some of you here, this is a third party situation. There's someone else. Tell me about the Four of Swords, but this could also be someone, your person, um, thinking, reflecting on, you know, wanting to maybe heal this connection. Uh, maybe they're thinking about a reunion, coming together, because that's the Three of Cups. But the Four of Swords is someone that's just thinking, dreaming, healing. It, they're not really taking action or communicating. Tell me more about this. Five of Cups. Okay, so there's regrets here. Sadness. Oops. I think that was my purse. Okay, so let's look at this Six of Swords. Oh my god. Tell me about this Six of Swords, please, Spirit. Why is the Six of Swords here? Okay, Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Nine of Cups. So there's a few ways that I can interpret this. 
when I see these cards together. Because the Six of Swords is a card about a departure. It's when you leave something behind and you're headed in a different direction, somewhere more stable. So when I see it with the Knight of Swords, it could be that someone's literally coming over to talk to you. Um, or maybe this Knight of Swords is a message about a departure, right? It could be a departure that they're having right now, or it could be like they're leaving a situation right now, or it could be the departure that happened in the past. And the Nine of Cups is all about emotional fulfillment. So the Six of Swords with the Nine of Cups could be interpreted as someone that is literally on their way or on a journey to have emotional fulfillment, to have their wish granted. Can I get one more for this Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords? Okay. Two of Swords and the Emperor, Aries energy. What's this? The star, Aquarius energy. Star is another card about healing, four of pentacles. So the four of pentacles and the two of swords are telling me that this is someone that perhaps is holding back, undecided, unsure, and it makes sense because the eight of swords is here. So we already had a card about kind of like fear. The star is a card about hope, healing, having faith, and the emperor is a doer. Um, they take charge of a situation, they take hold of the situation, like they're the ones that would actually like send the message. So I'm, I'm getting to, you know, a conflicting energy here because the Four of Swords, like I said, no movement, no communication there. And then here, the Six of Swords is movement with communication. So which is it? Right? I think that's why the Two of Swords is here. It's like your person hasn't been able to decide or figure out what they want to do let's see what's at um at the near future energy down here to see if we can see something see seven of cups it's like someone's making a choice figuring something out evaluating their options temperance sagittarius energy this is something that's slowly coming together patience is needed time is needed and then we have the two of cups so i feel like Leo, I mean, I hate to say it, but I feel like you will still be kind of waiting here because someone's debating or having a choice to make. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords, so what to say, and the Wheel of Fortune. So I feel like this is someone that's deciding whether to even talk or share a truth here. Why Temperance? Why is temperance here? Two of Wands. Yeah, it's like a path needs to be chosen. And maybe it's taking someone some time to do this. Tell me about this temperance card. Maybe the choice is to leave a situation. There's the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe your person has to leave something behind. And maybe they want to tell you this, Knight of Swords. Maybe this is their plan, but with the Two of Swords, they have to make a decision here. And the Two of Wands. Now this Ten of Wands with the Five of Wands, the Ten of Swords, I feel like this has been going on for some time. I feel like that's why there's all this waiting energy. I feel like this is a, a, an, uh, a connection that hasn't been able to come together. And I see that there's still more patience needed in the future here. Tell me about this Two of Cups. Four of Swords. Yeah, again, it's like there's no communication or action. It's very uh, frustrating, to be honest. There's the Ace of Swords, you know? Someone needs to, like, open up here. Break the silence here. Ace of Swords, Four of Swords. Let me see what else we can get on your person here. What else do we need to know about this person that Leo is dealing with? What else do we need to know about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with, Spirit? What do we need to know? 
What do we need to know for Leo? I'm ready to open up and I'm not giving up. So yeah, I feel like your person, they have to open up to you here because I think there's just so many things unsaid in this connection. And I think, you know, I feel like um, there's frustration because you just need confirmation that you're not imagining things or maybe you know that this person has something to tell you and they just refuse to bite the bullet. Maybe you're tired of all of the blocks in this connection, um, the blocked communication, all of that is like wearing you down. Um, I think that at this point, Leo, you just want to know what the decision is, what the outcome will be. Even if it's painful, you just want to know what the truth is. And if that resonates for you, check out the reading for, I think it was Capricorn. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, very similar energies there. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.